Hey there, fellow garden warriors. If you've ever looked at your struggling plants and felt like you're fighting a losing battle, it's time to talk about the real culprit, your soil. Today, I'm going to blow the lid off the three devastating practices that are slowly murdering your garden's most precious resource and share two mind-blowing ingredients that will bring your soil back to life, the lazy gardener's way. Title, The Silent Killers, Three Practices Destroying Your Soil Let's get brutally honest about what's happening beneath your feet. Most gardeners are unknowingly committing soil murder, and it's time to stop the madness. The first soil-destroying villain is over-tilling. I know, I know, you've been taught that breaking up soil is good, but here's the truth. Every time you till, you're essentially destroying the intricate underground ecosystem that keeps your plants thriving. Imagine your soil as a complex city of microorganisms, fungi, and beneficial bacteria. When you till, you're basically dropping a bomb on this microscopic metropolis. You're shattering delicate fungal networks, exposing microorganisms to harsh sunlight and extreme temperatures, and disrupting the natural structure that allows water and nutrients to move freely. It's like demolishing an entire civilization every time you run that tiller. The second soil assassin is chemical fertilizers, those bright blue bags promising miraculous growth. They're essentially junk food for your soil. Sure, they might give your plants a quick boost, but they're destroying the long-term health of your garden's foundation. These chemical cocktails create a dependency cycle that strips away natural nutrients and kills beneficial microorganisms. It's like putting your soil on a destructive crash diet that leaves it weak, depleted, and unable to support healthy plant life. Our third soil-destroying practice is perhaps the most common bare soil exposure. Leaving soil uncovered is like leaving your garden naked and vulnerable. Without protection, soil becomes compacted, loses moisture, and becomes a wasteland for beneficial life. Erosion takes hold, nutrients wash away, and your garden's potential becomes nothing more than dust in the wind. Now here's where the magic happens. I'm about to share two incredibly simple ingredients that will transform your soil from a barren wasteland to a thriving ecosystem. And the best part? It requires minimal effort. First up, compost, but not just any compost. We're talking about rich living compost that's more than just decomposed kitchen scraps. This is a microorganism powerhouse that rebuilds your soil's entire infrastructure. Think of compost as a multivitamin for the earth. It introduces billions of beneficial microbes, adds organic matter, improves water retention, and creates a sustainable nutrition system for your plants. Making incredible compost doesn't require a PhD or hours of hard labor. Start collecting kitchen scraps, vegetable peels, coffee grounds, eggshells. Mix these with some dry leaves or yard waste. Let nature do the heavy lifting. In a few months, you'll have black gold that can completely revitalize your soil. No turning, no complicated systems, just let it sit and decompose naturally. The second ingredient is even simpler, mulch. Mulch is like a protective superhero for your soil. A good layer of organic mulch, whether it's straw, wood chips, or leaves, creates a protective barrier that keeps moisture in, temperature steady, and provides a constant stream of organic matter as it breaks down. Mulching is the ultimate lazy gardener's trick. Spread a 2-3 to three inch layer around your plants, and you've just solved multiple soil problems. It prevents weeds, reduces water evaporation, regulates soil temperature, and gradually adds nutrients as it decomposes. It's like a set-it-and-forget-it solution that works 24-7 to improve your soil's health. Implementing these strategies is easier than you might think. Start by stopping all tilling. Instead, add a layer of compost on top of your existing soil. Then cover with a generous layer of mulch. That's it. You're essentially creating a self-sustaining ecosystem that will rebuild itself with minimal intervention. For those worried about initial investment, remember that nature does most of the work. Your kitchen scraps and yard waste become your primary composting materials. 
Mulch can often be sourced for free fallen leaves, local tree services, or even newspaper can serve as effective mulch. This isn't just about growing plants. It's about creating a living, breathing ecosystem in your garden. By protecting and nurturing your soil, you're not just growing vegetables or flowers. You're participating in a profound ecological process. Ready to transform your garden? Here's your call to action. Start today. Add some compost, spread some mulch, and watch the magic happen. And hey, if this video saved your garden and your sanity, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button and share this with every gardener you know. Together, we're not just growing plants, we're growing a movement. See you in the next video, Garden Warriors. Visual outro screen.